Hi there, and thanks for joining me for this Thought for the Day for Monday the 3rd of August. Uh, this week we're going to have a series of Thoughts for the Day in Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 20. Uh, an amazing poetic part of Paul's letter to the church in Colossae, uh, where he, he, he bigs up Jesus, and so I'm calling it the Supreme Son. Uh, we're going to look at verse 15 today, uh, the first verse of this section. And it says, The Son is the image of the invisible God the firstborn over all creation. The Son is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. Uh, to understand uh, what Paul means in this verse, uh, we need to, to know some of the words he's using and where they come from. Uh, he says that the Son is the image of the invisible God and the firstborn. He wants us to think back to the very beginning of the Bible in Genesis chapter 1, where it says that uh, human beings, man and woman, were made in the image of God. Uh, God made Adam and Eve and uh, all of uh, the humans that would come after them uh, to be his images. And what he means by that is, uh, is that, uh, that human beings were supposed to be God's kings over creation. Uh, they were to extend God's dominion across the world uh, by revealing God to the world and by ruling the world in God's righteous ways. Um, but we know that Adam and Eve didn't do that, and, and all of us failed to do that as well. Uh, but actually, what uh, Paul is telling us in this verse is that Adam was not the first image of God. The Son is the image of the invisible God, he says in this verse. Uh, Adam was based on an archetype. Jesus, uh, the eternal Son with no beginning, uh, he has always perfectly revealed God and always ruled God's world in righteousness. Uh, Jesus is God's perfect king. And the firstborn over all creation uh, means something similar. Um, it's, it, some people have taken the, the word firstborn to mean that Jesus was created, that he's not actually divine, but they've got it wrong. Uh, what, the rest of the Bible makes it very clear that, uh, that Jesus is God. Uh, no, the firstborn here means that Jesus is the one to whom everything belongs. Uh, he is the heir to all things as the father's firstborn. Uh, everything belongs to him. And so the consequences of this, uh, Jesus is the one who perfectly reveals God and rules the creation. And also, Jesus is the perfect human being. Uh, he is the one who does, does what Adam and Eve were supposed to do. And so for us, what does that mean? It means that if we want to know God, which is uh, something that uh, Paul is really uh, keen that the church in Colossae do, and every Christian does. He, he prays that God would continually fill them with the knowledge of his will through all wisdom and understanding, and that they would grow in the knowledge of God. Well, if we want to know God, we need to know his image. We, we need to know Jesus. He is the one who reveals God perfectly. Um, John says something similar to this verse in his prologue, famously read in Christmas, uh, John chapter 1, verse 18. No one has ever seen God. Paul says he's the invisible God in Colossians. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in the closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. If you want to know God... You need to know Jesus. If you were around 2,000 years ago, then you could have, uh, uh, if you were in the right place, gone and met him. Uh, but it's even easier for us. Uh, Jesus says the whole Bible is there to teach us about him. We just don't need to open the pages of the Bible and get to know Jesus. And that's how we know God. Uh, and the second uh, uh, way that it applies to us is that if we want to know how to really be human, if we want to know how to be God's images uh, that, uh, that truly represent God's character to the world and extend his uh, rule in righteousness over the world, uh, then we need to become more like Jesus. Um, uh, Paul says that the Colossians are being made uh, in, in God's image. And, uh, and that's how it happens. As we get to know Jesus better and more uh, are made like Jesus, then we become what human beings were meant to be. So let me pray. Our Father, we thank you that we do know in Jesus Christ your true image, who reveals you perfectly and who rules the world in righteousness. Our Father, we ask that you would help us to get him to know him better so that we might know you better. And Father, might we grow day by day more in his likeness so that we might be those who we were made to be. In Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thanks for joining me. I hope you'll tune in for, as we continue to work through uh, Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 to 20 this week. Take care. God bless.